The fact that something big and black can keep expanding long after its big bang is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. You may have heard that the universe is constantly expanding. And not only is it constantly expanding, its expansion constantly accelerates over time. And all of our understandings of the laws of physics says that it, should, it, should, it shouldn't be doing that. See, when the big bang happened, everything in the universe was densely packed into a tiny little area. Another theory goes that boom, like a bomb, it exploded. And like a bomb, when it explodes, it expands. And it all would have accelerated away very quickly at first. Now in a vacuum with no other forces acting on it, it should just continue accelerating at that same initial rate. But there are other forces acting on it, namely gravity. And all of the gravity in the universe should be slowing down the universe's expansion. Kind of like galaxies and our own individual solar systems that were expanding and scattering as well, but were caught by gravity, usually a star or a black hole, and then they stabilize into, into a consistent space. And then eventually, like when a star dies or implodes and turns into a black hole, all of it actually gets sucked back into itself and becomes smaller, in theory. We still don't actually know what happens when stuff goes into a black hole. Uh, maybe it just drops out the other side somewhere. We really don't know. But the universe as a whole is like, nah, I don't play by those rules, and it just keeps getting bigger faster. But there's a lot of things we don't understand. Like, we don't know how gravity works on a cosmic level. I mean, we barely understand how gravity works on a local level. And then we know these things like dark matter and dark energy exist, but we only indirectly know they exist. Like, we observe the potential effects of dark matter and dark energy on other stuff that we can see, but we can't see, detect, or measure directly the dark energy that we are pretty sure is there. Unfortunately, we aren't quite far enough along the Futurama timeline to have discovered a nibbler, and as a result, studying dark matter has been difficult. But to Despite not being able to see, test, or measure the things that we need to be able to see, test, or measure to unlock the answers of the universe, scientists and mathematicians still try to answer those unanswerable questions. Which is good, because this is how our understanding of things gain more understanding, right? And in that vein and spirit, mathematicians in Greece put together a model that could explain the ever-accelerating expansion of the universe. And their answer is itsy bitsy teeny weeny tiny wormholes. They hypothesize that these tiny little wormholes are created by dark energy interacting with gravity. The approach they used for their calculations was called Euclidean quantum gravity. Don't ask me what that means. I don't know. I will probably never be smart enough to know. But there are smart people. They know. Go ask them. According to this approach, though, they estimate that if 10 billion wormholes per cubic centimeter per second could be created and destroyed with like you know the dark energy interacting with gravity then that would provide enough energy to accelerate the expansion of the universe of course all of this only exists to us right now in mathematical equations because none of this can be observed or tested but hey most of einstein's theories about the universe just started off as mathematical equations too same with stephen hawking's and many of those have been proven true as time has gone on so don't brush off how applicable these mathematical equations can be like you did with your algebra teacher because these mathematical equations may very well know the answer that we don't know yet. And the fact that the unexplained ever expanding expanse may be explained by enigmatic energy that exists everywhere? Well that is pretty mind-boggling.